pin. Alex Newbles. That's me. What are you doing here? Man, today, as far as I know, I'm filming a YouTube video and editing. You know you're known to have some long hair. I have, at, at times, been known to have that, yes. It's known by a lot of people. There for a while, I was quite literally known as Alex with the man bun. The man bun, correct. Yep. You know what's not known, though? The age-old question. Taco Bell or Wendy's? Whew. That depends. Is this Taco Bell with nacho fries, and is this Wendy's with a four for four? Up to you. Where do things currently stand, I'm going to have to say Taco Bell, because Wendy's... Because you had a very heated debate on Instagram several years ago. Oh. oh. And the comment section leaned pretty heavily in the favor of Taco Bell. I don't even... I don't even know what you're talking about. Even Lucky Lucas chose Taco Bell. Oh, wow. So where do you stand today, Alex Newbowles? I'm going to go ahead and say it. I stand with Taco Bell. So you hate Wendy's. You hate that little red-headed girl on that sign. I hate her for taking away the 4 for 4. Mm. God's greatest creation, gone. Mm. Forever, maybe. Wendy's. Should we blame Wendy or should we blame Dave? No. Hey Dave, why are the hamburgers square? Now you know I gotta give Dave's prop for that because I do love a good square hamburger. Mm -hmm. It lets me know that it's real. Because, you know, it comes straight off the cow square. But mm. without a four for four, they just don't hold the candle anymore. Mm -mm -mm. Alex Newballs, if you could add one thing to your camera bag slash setup, what would it be? It would be this microphone right here because the microphones that I currently use make me have to time up all the audio in a video or say a music video or, mm. or speeches or anything like that from a wedding. It's very time consuming and very tedious. Not necessarily difficult, mm -hmm. but something that if I did have a mic like this where it's just automatically set with the video already, that would save me a lot of time and energy. Mm. And time is money, isn't it? Mm -mm. If you look at it that way. I do. Can't hear somebody. What are you going to do? Not pay for it. See how hard that was? They didn't even get it. They don't even know what we were saying. They have no clue. No clue. If anyone all. figures out what we were saying, comment it. You okay if we do a little segment? Yeah. Sure? Maybe. Right. This segment, again, sponsored by Night Productions. A little true or false here for you. Oh boy. Alex, is it true? Do you have the world record in this studio right now for most barrel rolls done in a vehicle? I think it would be, yes. Yeah, I think that's true. Confirm you chopped out about six or so? Three to four. Three to four. Giving you too much credit, am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think I was going fast enough to roll it six times. Probably would have hit the trees by then. True or false, you got style. Um, I don't know if that's something I can claim myself, but I have been told that I dress somewhat um, differently than most people. Mm. So if different can be equated to style, I'll say yes. Here. I'll say yes. We'll throw a little segment inside the segment. We'll go down a list of things and you tell me if you'd wear it or if you wouldn't. A peacoat. Yes. A beanie. Yes. Long johns. Sure. Maybe not by itself, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I get Turtleneck cold. sweater. Absolutely. The skin of a companion. In the right setting. Can you go on record saying that? You yes. would skin your friend and wear him? In the right setting. Hmm. Real like, it, it, was it Jeffrey Dahmer? No, it wasn't Jeffrey Dahmer. I it, don't know the guy. Hannibal, Hannibal Lecter, yeah. Mm, yeah, puts the lotion on his skin. Wear, wear the face. Where do you stand on lotion? I don't like having oily hands, but I also don't like having hard calloused hands. So I'd say right on the fence, 50-50. Use it when I have to. So you would say you wouldn't want to stand on lotion anywhere near some sharp objects, correct? I would never want to stand on lotion, gets my shoes dirty. Interesting. Interesting. True or false, you like water parks. 
So much so that when you were driving past one on the road, you decided to stop and have a go at it. This is true. This is very true. Was on a uh, road trip with uh, Lucky Lucas Lawrence, the uh, the guy that you said commented about Taco Bell earlier. Um, and on the way back, yes, uh, we were maybe uh, 10, 7, 10 hours into the trip, and uh, we had a lot of road we had to make up, but we thought, you know, we got time. Let's just stop for a water park. You can find you a video of that. You guys decided that y'all wanted to get wet. Mm. Yes. Can I have that go on record? Can I say I, Alex Newballs, wanted to get wet? <coughs> I, Alex Newballs, wanted to get wet. Mm. You are sick. Were there any slides there? Yeah, yeah, gray slides. One of them actually went over the road. That was how we saw the water park. We were driving and there was this You big don't think tube that's a little dangerous? Top. Uh, maybe, but I think a little bit of danger adds a little bit of spice. You know, it, like why would you go skydiving if you didn't know there wasn't a small chance it might not work? You know, that thrill of the parachute is going to open, but it might not. Mm. That's, that's where the thrill of skydiving comes in. If you know you're 100% safe, where's the thrill? So you like being high up. Correct? Yes. You, you would, some would say that you enjoy being high? Oh yes, they, they probably would. Mm. Next question, a guy who likes to say yes. Say yes to what would you like to take out of the post-production process? Oh, that's easy, that is easy. Well, it's great, and I could give you a couple of different answers, but the easiest one I could toss out would probably be um, when it comes to using Adobe, you have to use so many different pieces of it, whether it's Photoshop, Illustrator, or Lightroom, or Premiere. You have to use all of those different things to do what you want for one project sometimes. So when it comes to things like, say, turning a logo transparent or taking the background off of a picture that you would want to use in a video, I wish there was a way in Premiere to just say, right-click that picture and make transparent. Just make it invisible or make it invisible. So. Something that you could just click and forget about it. Yep. Something you could just nod off and maybe drive off the road, correct? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Maybe flip a car or two? One or two. Mm. At least one. What would you say to the people who, like Nathan, consider you a loud person? <sighs> In the right setting, yes. I uh, will generally keep to myself until I don't. And when I don't, there is no throttle. It's just wide open saying whatever comes to mind and I typically don't say it quietly. So could I have you go on record as saying, I, Alex Newbowles, am a loud guy? I suppose so. Can I hear you say that? <clears throat> I, Alex Newbowles, am a loud guy. Then why were you searching in silence? Ooh, I wasn't ready for that one. Do you want the answer of why I was searching or why I was silent? The answer of why I was searching is because my long lost brother disappeared. You don't even have a brother. I did, I did. Uh, there's actual legal documentation, which uh, I could show you at some point, uh, that I do have a brother. Um, it's just not biological. Mm. And that same brother is the same brother who disappeared in the movie. Mm. And you had to move on, didn't you? That's At least that's what the people were saying. That is uh, what they wanted. They wanted me to move on. Um, Your grades started suffering? <laughs> yes or no, Mr. Newbles? They did. They did. You started, you started taking to yourself more? You stopped hanging out with your friends? I did. I, I became very reclusive after I lost my brother. Mm, mm, mm. It's a sad thing to see. It is. Uh, it gets even worse if you continue to watch the rest of it that never got created. It's like a bad dream you can't wake up from, am I right? Indeed. You know a what? A segue I to a good dream, though. What's your dream shoot? What's something you wish you could do? You, Alex Newbols. What kind of shoot would you like to do? You know, I had an answer prepared for a question like this, and I'm going to change it on the spot. Hey. I. My dream shoot would be for us not being hired necessarily, not for someone else, but for us, a movie. That would be my dream shoot. A year or so that we take in any spare time that we have, any, and like I said, not something that somebody hired us to do, but something we might could 
get other people involved with, but a movie of any kind. Okay. You know, whether that be something, you know, incredible, like Terrors 3. I was about to say, Alex Newbels, are you trying to persuade our boss into making Terrors 3? Every day. Every day. Then there's a reason for it, too. It's not just because I think it would be such an incredible movie and that the fans would absolutely love it, but I think it's great practice for us. I guess to wrap things up here, Mr. Nibbles, are you aware of what the people are saying? Somewhat. Do you want to, do you, would you like me to clue you in on what the people are saying? Absolutely. People are saying Alex has long hair. Don't believe me? Well, well, I mean, I can't argue with that. You know, um, been growing it out since, when did I, uh, when did I cut this? I cut this a few months ago. I mean, would y'all consider this long? About chin level, maybe a little more? I'd call this long, yes. I'd agree with them. I agree with them. Long hair. For now, you know. Who knows? May get the inkling to cut it again. It's you, Alex Newballs. That is very accurate. Can, uh, can you turn that around for them to see that? So this is the guy we're looking for. Uh, if you see him out in downtown Paragol, be sure to alert local authorities. Thank you for your time, Mr. Newballs. Absolutely, what time is it? Oh, I gotta go. Get out of town. You're proposing a terrorist saga. I am proposing the terrors multiverse. You got big dreams, Mr. Newbles. Oh, they're huge.